What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Rope. So I'm going to speak on the whole Eminem versus MGK beef. Eminem kicked the whole thing off on his surprise album, Kamikaze. He did a track called Not Alike. It was a decent track, man. Uh, I got to admit, Kamikaze is a good album. A big step up from that revival shit that he came out with because that revival shit was so terrible. I listened to it just for a little bit, turned that shit off, never went back to it again. It was just garbage to me. And Eminem knows that shit. He knows that shit was garbage. Okay, you got to listen to your fans. If your fans say they didn't like that shit, it's not because they're stupid and it went over their head. It's just the shit was garbage. You know what I'm saying? And um, this album, it was good to see him come back like this. Now, Eminem, over the years, I never looked at him as the best rapper ever. Like a lot of people give him that title. I never gave him that title. Um, I have enjoyed listening to him just for who he is. Um, He's unique. He's funny sometimes. You could tell that he's a student of the game, which is what I respect about him. And um, that's about it, you know. And I think that he's the best wordplay rapper out there. As far as twisting words around and playing off words, Eminem can do that the best. So I can't take that from him. But when I pick who my top artist of all time is, I go off of content, okay? I go off of lyrical content. What are you saying? Can I relate to what you're saying? And I never really could relate to Eminem. The most relatable album that he ever came out with for me was a recovery album. And it was only because a lot of the things that he was talking about, I was going through a few of those things at that particular time when that album came out with. So I did like the revival album. But for the most part, you know, Eminem has just been somebody who was funny to listen to sometimes. But I never really could relate to the stuff that he was talking about. Like, in my opinion, I choose artists like Tupac, DMX, guys like UGK, Scarface. I think that those are the best rappers, in my opinion, you know, because of what I'm judging it off. I enjoy wordplay just as much as anybody else. But that, I think that there's more to it when saying who the best rappers are in history. Okay, in my opinion, I think that they'll never be the best ever. I think that that's all subjective uh, to the listeners. But anyway, um, Kamikaze was a was a good album for Eminem. I enjoy listening to it. I like the beats. I like the flows. So I can't take nothing away from him there. And even the diss track that he did towards Machine Gun Kelly was good. Good bars, good flow on that track. However... MGK's response, in my opinion, was probably a little bit better than that. Because the thing is with Eminem is he'll rhyme a bunch of words and it sounds good, sounds tight, it's a good flow. But a lot of the time, it it just doesn't mean anything. Like he's rhyming about a whole lot of nothing sometimes. And you got to admit, when you listen to that Not A Like track, there was a lot of that going on in that track. Where when you listen to MGK's track, He stayed on the objective of insulting Eminem, taking those shots, digging deep, and he just stuck to the topic the entire time. That whole track was about dissing Eminem. There was nothing else mixed in there. And he um, he tied in a lot of facts into what he was saying. And after listening to that interview that Eminem did with Sway, when you go back and you listen to Rap Devil, it sounds even better now. It sounds even better every time you listen to it. Just like uh, 10 players, I listen to their video. Shout out to them. Just like they were saying, you know, it gets better every time you listen to it. First time I heard it, I was just like, ah, you know, it's okay. But then when I really sat down and I gave it another listen, listen to it again, listen to it again. I'm like, damn, he's really getting at him, man. He really did get at Eminem. He really did get personal with him. And I think that that's the reason why we haven't heard anything back from Eminem on track because... How personal can he really get with MGK? How much does he really know about the kid? You know, he said he didn't even know that he said anything about his daughter until two years after it happened. So how much does he really know about MGK? To get that personal, to dig that deep. I mean, MGK said, you're old, you're bitter, you're not as good as you used to be. And on top of all of that, I will whoop your old ass. (laughs) I mean... That's basically what MGK told him in that track. And there was a lot of truth mixed in there. And even Eminem had to admit 
that he had some good lines in there, that it was a good track for him. So, M, if you believe all of that, you have to reply to him. You cannot now act like you are too big to respond because you don't want to make him famous because he's your enemy now. It's too late for that. It's too late for that excuse. If you really believe that, you wouldn't have mentioned him on your album at all. You've already made him famous. That Rap Devil track got too much attention for you to now walk away now. Because if you walk away now, then MGK holds the body of Eminem, in my opinion. So I would like to see M respond. I mean, the better part of me just can't believe that he's not going to. A lover of hip hop, a student of the game like Eminem, I don't think that he could just let that go. I don't believe that he's going to let it go. I want to believe that he's going to reply to him. But if he doesn't, hey, he got bodied. It is what it is. You know, this is hip hop. And for all these other corny little dudes out here who got dissed and who are celebrating the fact that they got dissed and that Eminem even mentioned their name, thanking him and all this shit. You guys are garbage, man. You guys are 100 percent pure garbage to me. You guys are not hip hop artists. You guys are artists. You guys make music. But that's about it. You're not hip hop. And that's a fact. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. You guys are not hip hop. You guys may rap, but there's more to hip hop than just rapping. Okay? Do you clowns mean to tell me that a young girl back in the 80s from Queens, Roxanne, has more heart than what you pussies got? I mean, that's what hip hop is all about battling, going back and forth. That's what built hip hop. And if you guys can't do that, then you guys are just a bunch of rappers who make songs and that's it. You're not hip hop. You guys don't even know what hip hop really means, what it's about. You don't know that you don't understand the culture of it. That's why I don't respect a lot of these new guys, man. Even though they make good songs that are catchy and they got nice beats and stuff like that. I still when I listen to that shit, I listen to it knowing in my mind exactly what it is. It's just a song with a bunch of kids rapping on it, saying a whole bunch of nothing, but it's not hip hop. I could still listen to some of it and have fun with it, but I take it for what it is. It's not hip hop. You know, and Drake's little corny ass, you know, that's another motherfucker right there. Now, he's been running around for years talking about I'm not going to reply to that guy because I'm bigger than him. I'm more famous than this guy, so I don't want to give him any life. Well, Eminem dissed you now. What is your excuse now? You're not bigger than Eminem. Maybe at the moment you might be because, you know, um, music belongs to the teenage generation. So whoever the teenagers right now, even if we don't agree as adults, whoever the teenagers right now say is their guy. There's, there's nothing that we could really do about it. They control that shit. Just like we did when we were teenagers. Just like our parents did before us. They choose who is the best as far as like sales and who they like. There's nothing that we could do about that. But Eminem is a big enough star in hip hop, in the music industry, for you to reply to. So there's no excuse for Drake at this point. You know, and I think it's just pathetic that these guys are so scared to death, they're petrified that Eminem is going to flame them. They don't even want to reply. They just want to ignore the shit. And I don't respect that shit, man. Not as a fan, not as a lover of hip hop. I don't respect it. But like I say, Eminem, you have to reply to this shit. If you don't, then MGK is holding your head in his hand. I mean, point blank, period. That's the way I see it. I'm out.